Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 1999 Bobcat 873 Turbo. This is an F-Series machine. Uh, these are a very, very good old machine. These were the start of your big vertical lift path machines. So you had your 863 or 873. 863 was a radius lift and then they come out with this in the vertical lift. Um, really a good old setup. Um, 70, uh, what are they, 73 horsepower Dutes, uh, four cylinder oil cooled turbo diesel engine in these. Uh, this machine we just done a bunch of work to, went over it. Um, 3,197 hours. All the lights work. We had to put a new headlight switch in, new glow plug switch, typical of an F series. Little terminals would break off the back of the switches. Um, we did do the timing belt in this because it calls for them at 3,000 hours. We went ahead and done that timing belt and the tensioner pulley. Um, some new hoses out on the front, lift and tilt hoses there on the front. Uh, we resealed the cylinders, uh, did a full service. This is a good old running working machine. Um, there is nothing. Guy was here yesterday, Matt put an S250 on. It was online like three hours and sold. You know, and that machine was sold for around $26,000. There, there is nothing under 20. This is going to be under 20, obviously, but this is a good old machine. They're a heavy lift machine, non-admissions. Uh, you can work on this machine. There's not a lot of, a lot of uh, complicated stuff on this. So the white paint is left original, the bottom gray, and the cab we did paint in the back door. Uh, wheel paint's actually original. It does have a good set of Bobcat 12165 heavy-duty tires. They're about 50%. I left them on there because they still had some running left in them. We did put a brand new 72 inch CID heavy duty long bottom bucket with the three quarter by six inch cutting edge. We're going to start you back here at the engine compartment take you completely around this machine. I do apologize today I'm under the weather. Uh, kids drug home this crap from school and I was fortunate enough to get it. So up underneath here you do have your oil cooler for the hydraulic and your engine oil cooler. And that's the thing I always liked on these old Deutzes. Um, you know, there was guys out there that give these engines a bad rap. It's just because they did not do their service. Um, these were a good motor. Um, they're oil cool. So if you'd ever have a head gasket go out, it just basically burns its own oil. It doesn't burn antifreeze and score a cylinder. Um, they start good in the winter time. Um, you'll see some of these seven, eight, nine thousand hours on them. It's never been touched. They're a very good old motor. Uh, we did put a brand new set of oil cooler hoses on. They were starting to crack. So we went ahead and put them on. On this side underneath this covers where your timing belt is. We went ahead and did it in the tensioner. We changed engine oil, fuel, air, hydraulic. That is all changed and done. Um, I do believe, yes, we also put, no, we did not. We did not put a battery in it. The battery was new in 20. Um, but no oil leaks, no access or abnormal blow by, anything of that nature. Uh, there's no oil leaks or fuel leaks anywhere there that we have found. Back door is actually in good shape. The stalker is still here, not busted off. Uh, door shuts good. Engine cover or radiator cover here is good. There's one little small hole there. Something bumped it. Uh, when I bought the machine, the boom support was missing. I bought a brand new one from Bobcat. It was 180 bucks. We put it on there so that somebody has it if they ever need it in the future. Over here on this side, this is your hydraulic sight glass. It is where it is supposed to be. Again, 12-16-5 Bobcat heavy duty tires, approximately 50%. Up front, Brand new CID Extreme, heavy duty, 72 inch long bottom bucket. Tilt cylinders and the lift cylinders we resealed. You'll see up front here we put all four new hoses on for the tilt cylinders. That way that was done. We did put a brand new seat in it. Cab itself is very good and square. It's not bent. Um, again, it's a good old machine. The boom is not welded or plated anywhere. Uh, it's not busted up, we can't find anywhere. Axle seals are good, nothing leaks there. I'll take you inside the cab. All the gauges work. Oh. So, 3197 on the hours. You can see there, voltmeter, fuel, and temperature. Started here, you can see all the warning light stuff go out. Here's going to be your first clicks, front headlights, second clicks, rear. It's going to be your glow plug. Power meter is clicking. Standard controls machine. It's not a rust bucket. Top window is in. Uh, like I said, guys, it's a, it's a good running, working old machine. Price is going to be very firm on this thing. It is standard two-pin 
Skid loader, quick touch, um, everything works. Again, it's not a brand new skid loader, auxiliary hydraulics. If you're looking for a big machine to put a set of pallet forks on and lift stuff, here's something to take a look at. It's not gonna break your bank. So, we're gonna fire this thing up. We're gonna run it around and show you does everything it's supposed to do. Here we go. So there again today, I forgot to have my mic on. Um, didn't say a whole lot, I apologize. Uh, we're gonna show you right here that the quick attach works. The old machine is a tight old machine. It's got some typical um, side to side play in the boom. Typical of an older machine, but these 873s were just that way. Um, I like to take this time show everybody stuff does work the way we advertise it too. Not many guys take the time to go through and do stuff like what Matt and I like to do. So uh, hopefully uh, people understand that that sets us apart a little bit from everybody else. Uh, a little safety practice, always make sure when you do unhook a bucket, look back up in there, make sure that those pins are hooked back up. We're about, uh, down through the C-shapes of the machine. Again, keep in mind, this is a non-efficient machine. No DPF, no urea. Uh, that stuff's only gonna continue to be a problem. Um, these good old machines, they were tough. They last a long time and they continue to last a long time because they were built, they were good quality machines. So, um, headlights, 
front and rear all work. Um, charges, oil temp uh, works, hour meter works. So we hope you can see there from the video, machine start trans works the way it's supposed to. So today's market in skid loaders, which, you know, your mini excavator, skid loader market, any of your compact equipment, in my opinion, the market has been messed up ever since COVID. There is no good equipment out there to buy. It's very hard to find. Um, and what it's done is it's taken junk. When I say junk, uh, there'll be guys that have a machine uh, that has absolutely no comparison to this one as in condition where this machine is in very good condition. There'll be a machine that's got 6,000 hours and they're gonna be asking the same exact money I am. And there's people out there that'll call and ask you, why, why is your machine, why is it priced the same as this? Well, I try to be realistic in a lot of our pricing. Um, I still do value what this thing is. It is a very good old machine. Drive motors are strong, park brake works, um, engine has no smoke or blow by. Uh, and we've went through and we've done a bunch of service work to this thing. I can't be any more honest than we are, but there again, you still have to be realistic in your pricing. So keep in mind, I mean, you know, there's guys that call here every day. How about it, Matt? We're looking for a cheap skid loader. Well, and I don't mean this to be a jerk when I say this. Those are two words that should never be even put in the same sentence at this current time. There is no such thing as a cheap skid loader. And if you are looking for a cheap skid loader, chances are you better be prepared to spend some money on it. Can anything break? Yes. Could this machine blow a hose tomorrow? Yes. It's a used piece of equipment. Let's face that. A new piece of equipment will break down. You know, ironically enough, this morning, as I was saying to you about this, doesn't have DEF or urea or regen, any of that stuff. Uh, local guy here, we just plugged into his Takahuchi this morning with a laptop. Come to find out, the machine had set for five months. He has poor DEF quality, so it won't go through a regen. So, you know, at that point, he now has to drain a DEF tank, clean a DEF header, if he can clean it. And if not, he's going to spend a couple thousand dollars buying a couple parts to make the machine work. You know, where this stuff did not have that problem. This was good old stuff. So if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check our website, www.marksupplyco.com. Please see us on Tractor House. Uh, Machinery Trader will be glad to help in any way that you can. If you need freight, just let us know. We'll be glad to get you a quote. 814-658-3066. As always, thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.